Just 111 days ago, Boris Johnson announced to the nation that he would be stepping down. This marked the end of a long struggle to remain in office, but there were indications that for him, it, it wasn't over, so I want to say thanks to everyone present in Hasta La Vista, baby. The Tories are a party in dire need of a savior, some see the man who still holds a 71-seat majority as their only hope. We need someone who can step in and unite people, someone who actually has that mandate, or a mandate from the people. At the most recent general election, there was a mandate from party members and someone who could actually get this party going again and help us win elections again. The only person who, in my opinion, meets all of those criteria is Boris Johnson. However, the issues that ultimately resulted in his removal from office and nearly caused his party to split remain the trust premiership, which is too short to be fully healed. I just think it's too soon that the I was there supporting him until the very end. but he did lose the confidence of the majority of our colleagues, which I thought was wrong. However, you have to respect this man's belief that he is the one who can fix the crisis. There was no response to that question this morning, but his supporters suggest it could come soon. He has made a lot of enemies within the party, but he was the MP's favorite the last time. I believe Rishi, who gathered support from all over the country and received the most MP support the previous time, is this the person who can do that now? Penny Morton impressed at the dispatch box just this week as a replacement for Liz Truss. Her allies claim that she is the only one who can unite a divided party at the moment. We need that unity, competence, and economic leadership right at the top. While new Chancellor Jeremy Hunt says he's staying out of one man's loneliest of all, getting 100 MPs to support him is a high bar when we're facing two international crises, the Ukraine war and the energy crisis. Having someone of stature with experience in government and who can resonate with people I think is really important. Today's Tory leadership rules appear to be an attempt to prevent RIS Johnson from returning to high office, but he has overcome obstacles before and some Tory MPs want to keep him away from the Tory membership, where he remains a firm favorite. He divided this party as PM, and some now believe he can reunite them, but will sufficient MPs attempt to stop Boris Johnson this time?